Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Urban Smith. Today we are going to be making a custom cornhole table that way you can challenge your friends and family and be the master cornhole table master master league cornhole. I don't even know what you call a cor professional cornhole cornholer. I don't know. Comment down below uh, what do you call a professional cornhole master? Uh, I have no clue. But we're going to be making one today. So these are all the materials you're going to need. So you're going to need to drill a three by eight bit. Need some screws. These are one and a half inch screws. Some three eighths wing nuts. Some washers that are three eighths. Some carriage screws. These are six inches long and three eighths. You're going to need a scroll saw and a saw. Need some wood, of course, some materials. These are two by four by eights, and you're gonna need two two feet by four feet plywood boards. So, you ready to become a master at cornhole? Well, let's build you one. Let's get started. Welcome to Gorm's Ramby Chef, where we are the master chef for the chef chef. Welcome to Dave Ramsey chef for the chef moment where we are going to uh, be appetizing some wood. Hi, welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I'm your host, Urban Smith. What we're gonna do next is you're gonna take your two by four by eights, you're gonna take your handy dandy measuring tool and you're gonna measure from one end to the middle at four feet. And you're gonna use your fancy dancy drawing tool and mark that four foot line and then you're going to use a saw to cut that line in half so you're going to take two of these and cut it in half so you're going to have a total of four four feet four boards exactly so you're going to have four feet four boards the two by four by eight you're going to be cutting those in half that we're going to have four four by fours by two i think i did it right two by fours by fours you got four of them. that's a woozy yeah so we're gonna get started with that. So we are gonna cut that live. So let's get going. We're gonna fast forward it. I hope that didn't freak you out. All right, now that we got them all cut, let's get moving to the next step. All right, now that we got those four boards cut, you should have four boards that are two by four by fours. If I didn't confuse you, go drop a comment on if you like your math or not. I hate math. So go grab your other two boards, your two by four by eights. We're gonna cut two boards that are tw tw 21 inches long. See, I cannot talk today, it's late and I cannot talk. No more numbers, Urban Smith, no more numbers. So go cut two boards that are 21 inches long and then go cut two boards that are 11 and a half inches long. So you're gonna get four boards, two that are tw 21 inches long and two boards that are 11 and a half. Let's get these cut, that way no more numbers. Thank goodness. All right, let's get going. No more talking, let's get these cut. All right, now we've got those 21 inch boards done. Let's do work on the one and a half. Let's get it. All right, now that we got everything done, go grab your two 11 and a half inch boards. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna round out one side. That was a little easier for these legs to get pivoted out with those carriage bolts. So go grab them, we're gonna round these out right now. Then everything's cut and we're gonna move on to making your hole. 
So if you want it regulation size, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go grab your board, this uh, two feet by four feet board. You're gonna do nine inches from the top, 12 inches in and 12 inches in, and that will be your dead center of the board. That circle, the hole needs to be six inches in diameter in that exact spot. So we're gonna get that started. So I'm gonna teach you a trick and hopefully you can see this. So like we mentioned before, we're gonna go 12 inches, 12 inches and nine inches from there. I did a little mark in the very middle. And what I did is I took a ruler and we want that hole to be six inches in diameter. So six inches divided by two is three. If you got that math question right, give me a thumbs up down in the comment section. So what I did is I took a ruler and put three right there in the middle of the dot. And then I went, I uh, made lines. I don't know if you can see that, but each line from the center is three inches. So basically I went from one to three inches and then worked my way around, keeping the three inch mark in the middle and made a six inch diameter star figure or however you want to call it. So If I did forget to mention, wear your safety goggles. There's a reason behind it. <laughs> let's get, let's get, uh, let's finish, shall we? And just like that, you should have a six inch hole in diameter. Now let's get to the next one. Hold on. All right, let's backtrack a little bit. I did forget to mention that you need to do two more of your 21 inch boards and two more of your feet that are 11 and a half and then make sure to round those. So, all right, now that we're here, you're gonna grab one set of everything. So grab your two long pieces, your two 21 inch pieces and grab your two 11 and a half pieces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the outline of the plywood behind us. So your 21 inches are gonna go inside on both ends. You're gonna screw it in on those sides and screw it in on those sides. And then we are gonna put the top on and then put these bad boys on. So we're gonna get that started. All right, now that you got your whole board installed, the 21 inch went inside, your long pieces go out. Um, we did have to upgrade and screws. We got a full size two inch screws, um, but the one and five eighths or a one and a half that we mentioned before did not work. You're gonna grab your flat surface piece and you're gonna lay it on top just like that boom make sure it all lines up make sure it's nice and party from here on what you're gonna do is you're gonna screw in on the tops into your framing on the side uh, we're gonna screw that in and uh, we'll get back to it All right, now that we got the first one done, we're gonna work on the next one. So now that you got everything installed as far as the frame onto your two by four uh, front, you're gonna grab your leg pieces. Again, we round these off, make sure at the very steep of it and the very bottom of it, that's still 11 and a half. Put those in the very sides in front of your hole, make sure they're butt up the very top. And then you're gonna grab your drill, your three bits, and we're gonna drill into both the framing and into the light pieces. All right, now that you put the legs on the back, you are done now. Go grab your creative skills and your creative artwork skills, and we are going to stain the front of these. So I want you to comment below what your guess is.
All right, just like that, we are done staining. It is looking great. So we just add, need to add some stars here. And if you guessed American flag down in the comment section, of course you're right. So let's get those stars added just like this. But beforehand, if you haven't already, go smash that subscribe button, go hit that like button, and make sure you hit that notification button for some more videos of Urban Smith. Let's get these stars added. All right, the stars are added. What we did is we had a template cut uh, using a Cricut, wonderful machine. And we just used some gloss white paint. And what we did was we, we taped this on here and we wanted to lightly mist it because we wanted that rustic look. But ultimately, these things are awesome. Uh, they turned out really well. So uh, stay tuned, like I said, wait to the end of the video and uh, got a little surprise for you. All right guys, we're down to the final step. You need to just go grab some bean bags and have fun. So we're gonna see how what we are. Oh look, nothing but net. This is how you end a Sunday evening. Just like that, that's two. Gonna get a nice cold Dr. Pepper or Coke in hand. Enjoy some family time outside. Man, we are killing right here. Woo, that's four, five, six, seven. Just like that, guys. Man, these things turned out awesome. I love the paint job I did. So if you haven't already, go smash that subscribe button. And uh, we're gonna keep playing. So uh, this is Urban Smith. Check it out. See y'all next time. See how well I go from the other side this time.